now we're going to move on to night terrors. This occurs most often in childhood and results in waking from sleep in a terrified state. Most of these occur in the first third of the night. Now if this happens, the person might be difficult to comfort because they're going to be thrashing around violently. This could last 10 to 20 minutes and then they'll fall back asleep. Oftentimes, the person will have no memory of the event and can't explain what happened the following morning. Now, some people with night terrors also sleepwalk, in which they engage in behaviors they would do while they're awake, even though they're asleep. For example, this could include eating, getting dressed, moving furniture, or even driving a car while asleep. Now, sleepwalking can occur in children and adults. About 4 to 15% of children sleepwalk, and about 1.5 to 2.5% of adults sleepwalk. Now, let's go to my friend who has night terrors, and let's see what he has to say about them. 